Hey, what's up guys? So today I've got six quick tips for you on how to keep your feet nice and warm and dry when you go skiing. So, tip one, make sure your boots fit you correctly. Now, I see a lot of people riding around in boots that are either too big or too tight. Now, too tight will definitely cause you a massive issue when you go skiing, so make sure you get your boots properly fitted by an experienced boot fitter. And then if they are a bit too small, you can always push out the shell a little bit or mold the liner and you get a little bit more space around your toes. So you just, just want to be, be able to wiggle the toes just a tiny amount so you can keep them warm during the day. Okay, so the second top tip is to make sure you've got nice thin ski socks. Something like this is almost as thin as a t-shirt and actually they're much warmer than a thick sock because your toes have got more space to wiggle around. If you wear a really thick sock, it can compress them and it squeezes all the blood out and you're going to get much colder feet much quicker. Tip number three, make sure you use something like talcum powder or athlete's foot spray to dry your feet out in the morning. So if you put a bit of athlete's foot spray on or a bit of talcum powder, it dries up the little particles of sweat on your feet before you put the sock on and it will just keep your feet a little bit drier and a little bit warmer throughout the day. Really easy to buy, you can buy them pretty much from any uh, supermarket or pharmacy and it definitely saves your feet a lot of pain and suffering. Okay so tip number four is make sure you put your socks on at the very last minute. Make sure your feet are nice and dry, make sure you put those socks on just as you're about to put your ski boots on. If you put your ski socks on early in the morning and you walk around the house or around the chalet or around the apartment that you're staying in, those socks are going to get a little bit damp from the sweat and then by the time you put them into your ski boots that, that little bit of dampness and the bit of cold is going to make your feet super cold. So stave off putting on your socks until the very last minute. Okay so tip number five is if you've got the money buy some heated socks. Now these puppies aren't cheap but they do make your toes super warm and definitely worth the money, definitely for me anyway. So what they have is that they've got a heating element which wraps around the toe here and the element you can see, this is the inside of the sock, it goes all the way up to the top of the sock here where it's got some, some little um, popper attachments here and then what you do is you have a battery, a battery like this which pops onto those poppers and it's got a control, it's got three settings. One is like simmer, two is like boil, and three is like incinerate. So I normally just put mine on two um, and just leave it for the day or just for the morning maybe when it's super cold. Um, but these socks, they're super nice, they're made of merino. These ones I think are by a company called uh, Lens. Yeah, Lens, so if you, if you wanna check those out, check them out on, uh, you can f probably find them on Amazon or um, if not, you might be able to just punch into Google and, and find somebody who sells these. There's other options uh, for you. These are just the ones that I like and they're super good. So yeah, definitely recommend those. So tip number six is to buy yourself one of these. This thing is a boot heater. It's got these kind of uh, tube things that fit down inside of your boot. Um, and it's got a timer here. You can put it all the way up to sort of two hours if you need to. But I generally find that 20 minutes is enough to just dry a pair of boots out. Super easy because you don't have to take the liners in and out. If you don't have one of those or can't afford one, you can take the liners out and just leave them somewhere nice and warm and dry, maybe just above a radiator. Avoid putting it on the radiator because it might change the shape of the liner a little bit or the glue might start to come away. But the other thing you could do is you could put a hair dryer in the boot for a couple of minutes just to dry the sort of little bit of sweat that you might have in the end of the boot out. But yeah, definitely recommend those. That's probably saved my toes more than any other item that I've, I've bought or have for keeping my feet dry. Cool, so there you go. There's six tips on how to have nice, warm, cosy feet when you go skiing this winter. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.